Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Pilates On Demand. Today we've got a Pilates band workout. We're gonna go heavy band today. So I have two options right here with me. I have my extra heavy and my heavy. So feel free to grab whatever you're feeling today or whatever you have at home. I'm gonna have both because we are going to incorporate some arm and ab work, which I think would be better done with a little bit lighter of a band. So we can always adjust if we need. Um, I'm gonna be fierce and start out with the extra heavy. We'll see how it goes. So we're just gonna slide this guy on above the knees on the thighs. We're gonna start with a warm up round and then we're going all unilateral for a while, meaning one leg is gonna be burnt out for a bit. So three minutes of a warm up, both legs, and then we're down to that one leg. So lay it on on your back, band is above your knees on your thighs. I want you to already find tension on that band. Plant the feet wide, toes and knees turn out. We're gonna be in a flat back bridge. So you have a little tunnel, little arch in that low back, collarbone is wide. On your X, you're gonna drive through your feet, lift your hip, hips up and squeeze into your glutes at the top. And inhale, hinge those hips right back down. Exhale, drive through the feet, squeeze your tush. And inhale right back to the mat. So I want slow, controlled movements today. That's usually what I like anyways so that you stay in the work and in the muscles rather than kind of like flailing through the movements or using momentum. All right, we're gonna have three moves in each round and the third move in each round will be a compound move of the first two moves you learned and then we move on. So there's no repeat moves today. A lot of work on one side just to burn it out. Okay guys, we're going to add a pulse of the knees out. So hips lift up, you're gonna drive the knees open and wide into the band. Lower the hips down, release. Push open with the knees, release the tension fully. Full press out, full release down. Now give me that pause, one, two at the top so you feel that quiver in the outer hips and then release. Good, so we're working to hold on to that contraction for a moment. So we get a little bit more out of the work. Now abs are engaged and tight here. You wanna find a full foot plant. So toes, inner heel, outer heel, the whole shebang is planted on the ground. Breathe out, lift up. Breathe in, take it down. I'm getting a little suntan here too. Good, it's like you're squeezing your heels towards each other as you drive your knees out. This is gonna be our last one. We're gonna hold the lift, hold the knees wide. I want you to pulse your hips. Up, squeeze, up, squeeze. As the hips go down, release the pinch of the glutes. As the hips goes up, squeeze them back together. Okay, you're on to your last 40 seconds of your warm up. My outer thighs are already saying hi to me. Good. Last 10 seconds here, then one change and you're out of your warm up. Here we go in four, three, two. Stay lifted, knees are wide, pulse the knees out and out. Never fully releasing the tension for this move. Little release, full press out. Last 15 seconds right here. Give yourself a big smile. We're in the work. We're gonna feel awesome after this. It's gonna be hard mentally and physically showing up for yourself today. And it's going to be so rewarding. Last four, three, two, one, take it down. Okay guys, roll over on to your left side. So we're gonna start everything on that right leg. You're here for a bit, 15 to 20 minutes. So come down, support your head with your left hand. I want your hips backed up, knees bent in line with the hips, feet in line with the ankles. Little tunnel underneath that bottom waistline. Lift your top leg up and then lower it down. Lift up, push out through the outer hip and lower down. So I'm sticking with that idea of that big squeeze at the top and full release at the bottom rather than a pulse like here. So we're going full range, up squeeze and release. Breathing out on the way up and in on the way down. And as I move my leg, there should be no movement 
in my core. So the whole time I'm maintaining that little tunnel beneath my waist and the mat. Good, my belly button is drawn in and up, so my abs are tight. Good, and I'm squeezing my seat pretty well as I pull up into that band. Last 10 seconds. Knee and foot are level for five, four, three, two, one more. Then lower the legs down completely. You're gonna take your bottom hand, your left arm and wrap it around your waist. Put your right hand in front of your chest, fingers point up. You're gonna push all the way up onto this right hand and then bring yourself all the way back down. So we're going up and down. This is a tricep engagement. So I'm gonna feel the back of your arm help you lift off the mat. Exhale up, inhale down. You got it. Good work. 20 seconds. You can always use this bottom arm to help you lift up if you need that. Final 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're putting those two together. So we're gonna do one hydrant lift. So that top leg's gonna lift up, pull out on the band. Release the lift, press up, and down. Okay, so we've got our hydrant. Release, press up, and down. Good, hips are staying stacked in that hydrant lift. Doing so good, guys. 30 seconds, and we move on to a whole nother round. Nice and quick. Okay, last 15. And here we go, one more time through. Big pull, squeeze, release, push up. Take it down. Okay, band staying around the thighs. Meet me on all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We have a nice long neck. Staying on that same leg, right leg is working. Pull the right heel to your tush, hover the knee off the mat. You're gonna send the right leg straight back behind you, pushing through the foot, and then bend the knee back to a hover. Press out. And, and now a lot of times I notice people want to turn their toes and knee out here. Make sure when you're extended, your toes knee in front of the thigh face the floor. Think of sending your inner thigh to the ceiling on the extension. Okay, toes and knee, top of thigh to the ground. Power through the palms, push out of the floor. So in Pilates, we always want to make sure we're protecting the spine and using the whole body the whole time. So right now, uh, probably a common thought would be, oh, I'm just doing my leg work, nothing else is working. That's not true. The upper body is pretty much in our plank-like position. Okay, last one here. Squeeze on the length. Come on down. Now, option to be on your knees for push-ups. Hands are as wide as the mat. Elbows bend out to a three-quarter bend, and then press back up. Option to be on the toes. So we're down and up here. Good work, we got about 40 seconds left. Maybe you do a couple on the toes, a couple on the knees, until you get stronger. And remember, better to go deeper and get a really big range of motion than do this. Yeah, even if you're on your knees. That's gonna build more strength. I'd rather you do a couple really deep than a bunch of kind of half bummed ones is how they would say it. I try not to curse in my videos. I'm sure you guys could figure out what I was trying to say. Good, last five seconds. Give me one more. And bring it down. Two moves are going together. I'll show you the modification to start. So left knee, right knee is lifted. It's gonna go straight back. Lean forward, I'm gonna go into a push up. Press up, set it down. One more mod. We go out, down, up, rest the knee. Option, extend the right leg as you tuck the left toes. We're in a plank. Push up, press up, 
back to kneeling. You got it. Extend the right leg, tuck the left toes, reach out. Push up, press up, bring it down. So good, 23 seconds. Let's work. Give me your best form when you're at your hardest challenge. Good, keep pulling that face away from the floor when you go down into that push-up. Let's go for three. Yes, you can. And two. Last one. We're up, down, up, release. Okay, the band's coming off. We're up to standing. So, the band's gonna go around the hands. Same working leg. So you're gonna keep that right foot on the floor. Band around the wrist. Left foot's gonna be our mover behind us. So let's start with a, a lunge. Right foot forward, left toes tucked behind you, band around the wrist, palms face each other. We'll go down into a lunge as the arms reach up and then lower the arms down as we raise back up. Back knee should be underneath your hip. Front knee should be over the front ankle, so not here, yeah? Pull your front hip back as you draw your back hip forward. Now we're working external rotation of the arms. That means when you reach those arms overhead, I want your elbows pointing forward, your palms facing each other, and your biceps rolling past your ears. Drive through the foot on the floor. Any pressure in the low back, feel free to hinge. Good, try to soften those upper traps down when you reach your arms up. I know that position is hard. Last one. And we're up. Okay, single leg deadlift, same leg is working. Right foot planted, left leg reaches behind you, parallel. Hips, toes, knees face forward. You're gonna reach the arms overhead. As you reach that left leg back, course at the ribs. Lower the arms, lower the foot. Take these slow, work the alignment. The farthest you'll go down is chest in line with hips, no lower. But hug that right hip in and turn that left hip down. Good, you've got about 30 seconds left. Now when I say you don't have that much time left, it doesn't mean rush and get a bunch of reps in. It just means do your best on the last couple moments. Good, final 15. Good, finding the balance in the foot on the floor. Equally weight for the toes, the heel, the inner arch, and the outer foot. Good, and all the way down. Okay, we're gonna put that together. Right foot forward, left toes tucked behind you. You're gonna go into a lunge, arms lift up, press off your back foot, forward, single leg deadlift. Good, step it back. We're in our lunge, shoulders pull down, shift forward, flex that back foot, gaze towards the front of the mat, single leg deadlift. Good, we lunge, lift up, find that balance from your center engaging. Try to keep those arms back by your head. Good, lunge and deadlift. Nice job guys, last one here. We go lunge and a deadlift. Good, and then release. Awesome, okay, band goes back around the legs, right above the ankles on the shins. Okay, right leg, still doing the work. Left leg is standing. Good, just gonna tuck these wires back in. I want you to lift up out of the left hip, so we're getting nice and tall. The right leg is off the floor. I want you to slightly internally rotate. Heel out, toes in. You're gonna pull to the side with the band. Release. Pull to the side, release. This is abduction. So that first move, we started those hydrants. Works the same area. With us being standing, it's also gonna work the supporting hip a little bit more. So I want you to be careful about leaning away from the leg. I want you to really lean to the right as you lift it up, just to almost overcorrect, leaning to the left. 
Okay, lift up through their spine. Root down to lift up. What does that mean? Push into the floor with your supporting foot to lift up out of those hips. Good, you can always use a wall or a chair. One of the principles of Pilates is balance. So, we're just import, uh, incorporating that here today. Okay, last 10 seconds. You can always tap that foot down if you need. Final one right here. I'm gonna take it to the back. So, hips, toes, and knees point straight forward. Tailbone drops down, belly curls in and up. We're gonna take that right leg straight back behind us. Pull back into the band. We're staying about hips distance because I don't want to lose tension here, yeah? So keep the leg reaching out. I'm going to show you from the side as well. Important that this area of your back isn't flailing around. Good? So when I pull back, I'm pulling from the base of my seat rather than this. I'll show you what not to do. See how my pelvis moves there? That's not good. That just feels like my back is crunching. It doesn't really feel like my leg is doing the work, which is what we want. Get ready for this combo move, y'all. It's about to be intense. Good, last 10 seconds. And then guess what? It is one of each. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go one big lift to the side, tap it down, one big pull to the back. So I want you to think outer hip, hamstring, and booty. Parallel the whole time, even a little overcorrect by turning the leg in. I, I don't see a lot of people over internally rotate. I see a lot of people over externally rotate. So that is just not gonna work the outside of your hip as much. That's what we're going for. Okay, think tall thoughts. I know that supporting leg is talking, guys. You got less than 30 seconds. Then you got your last little leg circuit on this right leg. Like how I call it, little. Woo! Here we go. Final 10. We're about to take it to the mat. And you have five, four, three, one more of each, two, one. Oh, shake it out. Okay, come into the floor. Last move on this right leg. So, single leg bridge to begin. Slide that band above the knees on the thighs. Right foot fit firmly planted on the floor close to your hip, so not far out here, but close. Left leg up to the ceiling. We're gonna drive through this left foot. Sorry, this right foot's driving. Hips up and down. I want you to take it slow again. Squeeze, tap. Every single part of your right foot is on the mat. Toes are not lifted. Heel is not just on the floor. So it's the whole thing. Okay. 25 seconds. Big squeeze at the top each time. Front of the chest is open. If you want more leg work, don't use those arms as much. Keep it up, guys. Last 10. You have five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. I will give a modification for this next one. It's reverse tabletop. Both feet can be planted as you lift up. Chest is open, fingertips point to the heels, and then lower down. So that's the modification. Otherwise, you're staying with that single leg. Right foot grounded. I need both hips lifting up each time. Yeah, we got it. Finishing off that right leg. Don't forget to give me that quality squeeze at the top. Putting it together in 25 seconds. Give me a big lift, pause. Let's squeeze like you mean it, last 10. Final four, three, two, and one. Final move. Single leg bridge, right foot is down. 
Hips go up. Hips lower down. Sit up, plant the hands. Drive up through the hips. Take a seat, okay? So you're just putting those two together. Hips up, hips down. Plant the hands behind your back. Drive through the hands, drive through the foot. Good, give me that pause at the top range on both moves. Killing it guys, 30 seconds. And you got 10. And you've got eight. Don't get slacky on me. Make sure those hips get as high as you can. Final five, four, three, two, one more reverse tabletop, and you're down. Oh my gosh, that was like 20 minutes on one leg. Give me a little figure four stretch. Plant that left foot on the floor, cross that right ankle over, lift your chest up, breathe into it. Good, release. <laughs> okay guys, that was fun. We just kind of killed the right leg. Guess what? Yep, time to do it again. <laughs> so put that black band on, or I guess heavy band. Mine just happens to be black. Slide it above your knees on the thighs. We are going all left leg. So we're just going to repeat the entire series, but luckily there's a lot going on. So we're going to take it all the way down on that right side. I want you to move your hips back. Arch your low back slightly. I'm gonna wiggle that band up a little bit higher. And the knees are bent at the hip crease. Feet are in line with the knees. We've got that 90 degree bend. I'm gonna slide my left hip away from me. Find that little tunnel between my bottom hip and the mat. So we're starting with just our hydrants. You're gonna lift that top leg up. Big squeeze and release. So again, these movements are about that slow controlled pace. Good, we're not rushing anything. We're getting the most Bang for our buck. I tend to say that a lot, but I think it's important. Sometimes we feel like doing hours of exercise is more helpful, which what is really the most helpful is doing something to its full potential. Good. Okay, you got about 35 seconds right here. Big squeeze each time at the top. Make sure your neck isn't taking any of this work. It should just be relaxed. You can also be all the way down and resting if that's a better option for you. Awesome, awesome. Here we go, last 10. Fresh leg, not so bad yet. Give me five, four, three, two, last one, final one. Okay, we got our mermaid press, so wrap that bottom arm around your waist like a seat belt. Plant your left hand in front of your chest, fingers point up. You're gonna push all the way up onto that left hand and then take yourself all the way back down. It doesn't matter if you need to straighten your legs to help you get up, go for it. Do what you need to do. Try to keep the front of this left shoulder on your back. So I don't want it to start looking like this. Open that collarbone up. Good, final 30. Squeeze that back of the arm. And on your way down, resist the motion. Try not to just plop back down on the mat. Okay, we're gonna put these two moves together in 12 seconds. Go ahead, give me five, four, three, two, one, okay, we're taking it down. We've got that leg lift. Knee pulls up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release, press up and down. Here we go, big lift. Pause, squeeze your tush. Lower down, push up. Take it back to the mat. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, press. Inhale, release. You are doing great. You're halfway through the leg work because we just started that second side. It's a huge accomplishment. Good. We should feel that outer hip working in this move. Last 10. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, 
One, take it down. All fours, baby. Okay, band staying above the knees on the thighs. I just wanna slide mine up a bit. We're going hands underneath the shoulder. Remember, same leg that was just your lifting, just the working leg, is the same leg on this side. Fingers spread wide, lift that chest up. Draw the left knee off the mat, pull the heel and flex the foot. Stretch it straight back into the band, squeeze. Bend the knee back in. Now I want you to make sure when you push back, you don't lean over to the right, yeah? Keep your right hip stacked over that right knee. Lift that low belly up. We're finding tension by pushing out into that band. Lifting slightly up, but not so high that we get a curve here. So if you're looking at me and like, ha, my leg's way higher, that's actually not the goal here. The goal is to not get the leg super high. The goal is to find the work, find the squeeze in that left glute. Okay, last 10 seconds. Good, final one, then we're headed to our push-ups. You saw the modification, so you can either be on your knees, hands as wide as the mat, elbows go slightly below the shoulder line, press up, maybe work the depth there, or we're up in our plank if you are used to push-ups. Good, we're up and down, strengthening the upper body and that lower body at the same time. I want you looking slightly out in front of you, not straight down, and I also do not want your head to hang. If you do my workout videos, you know I say that a lot, but truly, that's a pet peeve of mine. I cannot stand when I see that. We're stronger than that. Good, give me 10 seconds. Five, four, give me two more push-ups. Use those legs. Good, take it down. Okay, so I'll show it with the modification first. We go for that left leg lift to the back. Lean forward. Bend, press, both knees down. Or you tuck your right toes. Left leg stretches back, right knee lifts off the ground. We go push up, press up, back to the mat. Whichever variation is right for you, that's which one you're gonna take. Now I want you to think about using both arms equally here. We usually have a stronger arm, just like we have a stronger leg. When we're doing a bilateral movement, which we are in this push-up, it's easy to rely on your stronger arm. So just be aware if one arm is using more of its strength than the other. Okay, 10 seconds. Almost there, give me one more good one. Chest tap, up, take it down. Excellent, stand it up, slide that band off. Already, already, we're to our standing work. So the band's now around the arms, yeah? So it's around the wrist. Palms face each other. Fingers are long, just like we would on a reformer. Chest is open. Same working leg, yeah? Left leg stays forward. Right toes tuck behind you. Hips, toes, and knees face that front wall. We're going down into our lunge. Arms rise up and then push through the front foot as the arms come down. Now when the arms go up, I want you to be careful of bending your elbows and cranking your shoulders. So soften those shoulders. If you need to, you can hinge forward. And remember, the gaze doesn't have to be straight ahead. It can be slightly down. Just do not go for this guy, right? Okay? Anyways, that's enough of me talking, let's move. Get really into alignment. I usually have to remind myself every single time those arms lift up to relax my shoulders. I think that's one of the harder things here. Nicely done, guys. 20 seconds. Who else is dripping sweat? I am for sure. Good. Last two lunges. And final one. Okay, we're up for our single leg deadlift. So same foot as the front leg, left foot on the floor, arms are long. Hips, toes, and knees face the front wall. Flex through that right heel. You're gonna reach your arms forward, push that right heel back, and then slowly come back up. So I'd rather you do less of these and hold it 
at that bottom range. Maybe your bottom range is here. Hold it. Get more work out of it and return. The other big thing to think about here is the return is huge. Do not move fast through the return. Watch. Nice and slow. I come back and it burns so bad. Good. So we're reaching out through the fingertips, back through the heel, in through the core and take it down. Good. Couple more. Good, final one. Inhale, elongate, fill up your mid back, try not to back bend. Right knee and toes point down, slowly return. Oh my goodness, that is not a kidding move. Step through the band above the ankles around the shins, back to that side leg lift. Lift out of that right hip, push into the floor. Left toes and knees slightly turn in, we're gonna pull out from the outer hip, release. Pull out, release. Hold that tension, release. Now the tendency is gonna be to lean away from the leg. I want you to lean into your working leg. Maybe the balance is really hard. Push your hand into the wall to resist leaning. Awesome, awesome. Good, retract those shoulders. Lift up through that belly. Good, 20 seconds. Good, hold that tension. Check your form, make sure you're not turning your leg out. Good, final eight. My imaginary wall, <laughs> kinda helps, right? Last one right here, we go for our hamstring pull to the back. So I'm keeping tension in the band, lifting up, belly button in, reach that leg straight back, tap. Straight back, tap. Let's look at it from the side because I think this is important. It's not that big of a lift as I pull back. If it was a big lift, a couple things could happen. I throw it into my back, I'd lean forward to do it, right? So think smaller. Squeeze your seat. You can put your hand on that left tush and say, mind, body, let's connect right there and squeeze into it. We've got this. Woo, how is that supporting leg talking to you? Screaming at me. You guys are doing great. You got 10 seconds, and then you know the drill. It's a combo move. One more to the back. Okay, we're gonna go one abduction, one rear lift. Outer hip, hamstring in tush. Pull, find that tension. Woo! Also trying to find our center. Okay, thinking tall thoughts, lifting up. Good, we are so close. Last standing move on this side. It really works both legs, yeah? Good, last 15. Don't you quit on me. We're doing this together. Final six, five, four, three, one more each way, and to the back. Oh, that standing hip. Okay, slide the band up, above the knees on the thighs. Last circuit on the left. So I need you to take it to the mat. Oh my goodness. You're gonna have that left foot planted on the floor. We got our single leg bridge. Right leg is up in the air, straight or bent up to you. Flat back, hips go up and down. Toes and knee are parallel. I want you to pause at the top and thighs are hips distance. So yeah, the band is tense. We're not holding our inner thighs together. We're still working the outsides of our hips. So with having that band tension, Push that left knee, that left thigh out into the band, but keep the right leg wide so it doesn't get pulled. You're resisting the action of each leg. Good, 20 seconds. Good, remember you can lift those arms up. 
if you want to make it more of a leg jam. Good, give me eight. Final one. Boom, let's bring it up. Reverse tabletop. Toes and knees and fingertips point forward. Feet are hips distance, drive up, squeeze, take it down, that's the mod. Otherwise, left foot down, right foot up, we're up, we're down. Up, down, you're inside of 100 seconds on this leg, we got this. Hold on to the mental work, I know it gets physically tiring and mentally tiring, yeah? But we are showing up today. Good, 10 seconds, we put those moves together. In five, four, three, two, one. Down on your back. Left foot does not leave the floor. Hips go up, hips go down. Sit up, hands behind the back. Hips lift up, hips drop down. 50 seconds right here. Up. Down, sit up, plant the hands, drive up through the legs. We're also getting some bonus arm work this whole workout. We hit triceps, we hit chest. Now we're hitting those shoulder blades and those triceps again. So we got a lot out of that. 25 seconds. Let's rock it out, guys. And we've got 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, one more of each for 3, 2, 1, drive it up, take it down, ho, 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 slide that band off. You're going to cross your left ankle over your right thigh, plant that right foot down on the floor. The closer the right foot comes to you, the bigger the stretch. Good, gather that energy. We are not done. Okay, we did unilateral work on the legs. Can you guess what's next? Both legs. No problem, we got this. Stand up for me. Wipe the sweat, get some water, shake it off. Then grab your band. It's gonna go around your wrist, okay? I'm gonna show you this from the side. Let's see, let's go this way. Well, first check out my feet. Slightly turned out, so we're not totally parallel. We're slightly turned out, I'm a foot apart. If you're taller than me, I'm 5'4". Take your feet a little wider. If you're shorter, a little more narrow. Here we go for an overhead squat. Hips are going back. Arms are reaching up, rib cage is in, tailbone is dropping. I'm gazing slightly out in front of me. I'm driving through my feet, squeeze your glutes, come up, slow. Inhale, hinge those hips back. Arms go up, sit into it. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Like I'm holding a piece of paper between my legs here. There's a little tension on the band. I'm definitely not letting the band go slack. My neck is long, meaning not dropping down, not looking up, I'm just gazing slightly out in front of me. You've got 30 seconds here. Good, I want you to try to break parallel. Hips below those knees. Drop the tail, lace the ribs, get those arms up, drive through the feet. Good, two more. Inhale takes you down. Exhale drives you up. Stay down there on this one. We're staying in the work. The arms are gonna lower and lift. Now, really paying attention to those shoulders. I'm depressing those shoulders down my back. I'm activating my lats. Send those hips back to the mat behind you. Let's shift that weight to the heels. Toes stay down, but heels are heavy. Good, holding your arms up here. Big pulses. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift. 
Good, I'm definitely hinging forward. My back is not upright, but it is flat, right? Not here, yeah? Get that chest open. We are working shoulders. Can you feel it? Stay with me. Dropping into a hold right here. We've got 30 seconds. Okay, modification, come up a little bit higher. Modification, lower those arms. I'm really working to get those arms back. It's super hard for me. Dynamic mobility in that shoulder blade. Halfway. We are gonna slowly press up to standing in 10 seconds. Okay, don't release. Here we go, up an inch. Up an inch. Squeeze those glutes. Up an inch. Drive it up. Oh my gosh. Legs are done. Drop the band. Time to do the abs. Okay, okay. So I'd say we've made it through the hard part. So take a deep cleansing breath. We're taking it down to the mat. I know that's the best news you've heard today. We're gonna hit the core. And let's stick with the heavy band. I think we're feeling pretty good. So we're back to the heavy band around our wrist. I'm just gonna have you lay it down. It's kinda hard to get back down to the floor once the band is on. Okay, legs are gonna come on up to tabletop. Wrists face each other. And I want you to connect your legs, connect your low back to the floor, and also your rib cage is connected to the floor. Maintain that connection the whole time. So look at my back real quick. See how there's a hole between my back and the mat now? We do not want that. So connect the low back, the rib cage, and the upper back into the floor by engaging your abdominals. Tension on the van. Arms are gonna reach back without the shoulders popping up. So shoulders into the body. Legs extend to 45. We have not lost the connection with our back in the mat. And then exhale, we're returning. Okay, so little tension on the, on the band. We breathe in to lengthen. You're gonna pause on the stretch, reconnect any part of the spine that's left the mat, and then return. If you feel like you can just not keep the back down, the legs go higher, the arms don't go so far overhead, they return. Okay, so you modify to hold on to the connection. So don't do a bigger range of motion if you're not able to hold on to the core because then you're not really working your abs. You're just kind of dumping into your joints. You're putting pressure on your low back. So it's not really helpful. So if it, in case it doesn't look like mine, don't be upset or feel disappointed. You know, I'm strong in my core, but there's a lot of other things that I practice that I know it's better for me to do more of a remedial version so I can get stronger. Good. Connect the front of the rib cage. So think of someone's fingertips right on your ribs, pinching them together. You can even do that yourself and see if you, it helps you connect with that area. Sometimes the tactile cue is really useful. So this is gonna be the move you stick with if it's very challenging for you, you'd stay right there. Otherwise, legs are going straight up we're gonna lower the right leg down as the arms reach back overhead. Nothing has left the mat. And then exhale to return. Switch legs, left leg down, arms back. Press the ribs down and return. So I still want you to go for that break when you're on the length. Pause, find and hold the connection, return. Those lats, the muscles below your armpits are gonna to wanna to creep up into your neck, but you're not going to allow that. Okay, we're gonna go one more each leg. Good, last one here. There's still tension on that band. Now you can stay there or we can graduate to both legs. Ribs into the mat. I am only gonna take it as low as I do not feel an ounce of air between my back and the mat. That's about right there for me. And then I'm lifting back up. So I'm worried more about keeping my back down than lowering my legs. So maybe that's a really good thought for you to have while you do this exercise. Legs are going down, but it doesn't matter how low. It matters that the back stays connected to the core. The core stays connected to the back. I'm even finding that for both of my legs going down, that my arms do not need to go quite so far overhead. I'm doing a lot less lengthening now. 
because longer levers add more weight. So meaning straight legs versus that first exercise we did with the bent knees is going to feel a lot more challenging. Therefore, your modification for this is bending the knees. Good. We're going to do a couple more. I want you to keep your mind-muscle connection right in that core, in that torso, commonly known as our powerhouse in Pilates. Good. Press that mid back down. I know that's where I'm starting to lose it, so I'm really going to work to hold on to that. Good. I typically like to breathe in on the extension and out on the contraction. So that would be an inhale as the legs and arms move apart and an exhale as they connect back together or lift back towards each other. But even though I have my reasons, I would rather you breathe in a different way as long as you're breathing if you can't get how I am telling you to breathe. Meaning like if you take an exhale somewhere else and an inhale on the other direction, that's totally fine. My number one thing for you is just keep breathing with the movement. Last one here. And then everything back up. Fold the knees in, release those hip flexors. Okay, we're gonna take it to a helicopter. Arms are up. They are going to hinge back a couple inches and then they're just gonna stay hinging back. We got some tension on the band. Legs are up. We're gonna go two scissor kicks. Right leg goes down first. Right leg down, right leg up, right leg down. Now the left leg's gonna go wide to the left. Right leg goes wide to the right. Switch the legs. Two scissors, right down, right up, right down. Left leg wide, right leg wide, switch. Scissor, scissor, switch. Scissor, scissor, switch. Now every time you should have a different top leg when you go into that helicopter action. So my left leg is at the top right there, two scissors, my right leg is at the top. Now this is kind of like a fan kick too, so it should feel nice on those inner thighs, almost like a stretch after all that work we did here today. Good, two scissors, and then switching your top and your bottom leg. Good, find that imprinted spine. You need more, bring those arms back by those ears. But do not leave the connection with the core. That's more important. Scissor, scissor, switch. Good energy through those toes, last one. Good, fold the knees in, release the low back. Okay, we're gonna take a walk. <laughs> arms and legs are straight up, tension on the band, arms go back. So just as if you're walking, your right leg walks down, your left leg walks past it, your right leg past it, your left leg past it. Now we're gonna reverse it. Left steps forward, right steps forward, left steps forward, right steps forward. So every time you go for that walk, the leg is going a little bit past the other leg. So they're not side by side. Find tension on the band and stamp that waist to the floor for me. Good, now I'm going really far down in this. If that doesn't work for you, don't go so far. It can be just one walk down and one walk up. Other option is to bend the knees so that the straight legs put pressure on those hip flexors. Do what you need to do so you can get the work in the core, not your hip flexors. Okay, one more walk in the park. Take it down and take it back up. Good, fold the knees in, release the hip flexors. Okay, we're going for leg circles. Three small, three medium, three large, all one direction, and then we'll reverse. Legs up, arms back, ribs to the mat. We're starting small circles, going down, separate, lift, and connect. What you wanna feel is that your pelvis does not move. One more small circle, same direction, we're headed into medium circles, meaning you're making it a little bit bigger. Your medium, not mine. That is three. Now we're going large, so your biggest range. Rib cage should not leave the floor. 
that is three. We reverse, starting small. Open, lower down, connect, pull to center. Two, three, heading into medium-sized circles. Open, lower down, connect to the bottom, lift through the middle. Two more. And now we go large. Nice big circle. Pull the shoulders down. Final one. Good, hug it in. Squeeze those knees into your chest. Rock out that low back. Okay, roll it on up to a seat for me. It's time to do some arm work. So, let's come to kneeling. If you have any knee problems, feel free to just take a seat. That's totally fine with me. I'm gonna have the band around my wrist, kind of like we've been having it. Um, but I'm actually gonna drop to my lighter band because I think I'll get more work out of it. That's just so heavy for your arms, it's kind of hard to move it. But hey, if you only have a heavy band, you can still do this. Sorry, that's extra heavy, this is heavy. Just heavy, right? So we're gonna go into Pilates serving. I'm kneeling, chest is open, you can always stand up to do this. Tension on the band, elbows to the waist, and then reach straight out in front of you. Elbows to the waist, reach straight out in front of you. Now there is a good amount of tension on the band. It is never going slack. I'm tensing my biceps, and the number one thing I do not wanna see is this. That looks so sad. Keep your chest open the whole time. Good, in Pilates they call it serving the platter. I like to think of it as serving the martinis because that's just more my style. Good, you're here for 10 more seconds. And maintain that nice wide collarbone. Good, last one, you're going out. You're gonna add a pulse open. Little release, bend. The release doesn't mean get rid of all the tension. Pulse out, shoulder height, return. Out, pulse, shoulder width, return. Good, now as we start to get a little bit more fatigued in those shoulders, we have to remind those shoulders to pull down the back. Whew. Good, also think about where your neck is. Let's try not to let it fall forward. Okay, last one. We're gonna stay out there and we're gonna go into circles. Circle up and around, up and around, into that tension. Good, release those neck muscles. I just had to remind myself that. Good, reverse, down and around. The arm's spinning in the socket, it's pulling wide and up. Good, four, three, two, one. Maintain the tension, we go down, lift up. This is forward chest expansion. Shoulders do not lift as the arms lift. Tension on that band the entire time. Palms are facing forward. This is your rear, so your forward facing arm series on the reformer, the hug of trees, serving, forward chest expansion. Good, so same idea as if you're pulling into those Pilates straps. Awesome job. Okay, we're just going to hold it at the top. Palms face each other, wide on that band. We bend in, reach out your back to serving. We're just rotating the arms a little bit differently. Palms up was more externally rotated, more opening in that shoulder joint. This is more like parallel. Good, if you need to, ditch the band. Do isometric work. Okay, we're gonna add that pulse out. We go out, press open, release, pull it in. I want you to press open from your wrists, not your elbows. So it won't bend the arm, the whole arm or I shouldn't even say wrist, I should say move the whole arm out. Bend in. Whole arm out. Bend in. Awesome work. Open that heart up. We're about to finish those arms up. Okay, last one. We're out for a circle, starting up and around. Into that band into that tension. If you need to, close your eyes. Connect with that goal. 
You know, when it's hard, when it's near the end, when you're tired, those are excuses. That's not why we showed up today. We showed up definitely to get stronger and definitely for our health. You can fill in the blank with your other goals, but those are things we always show up for. Reverse those circles bottom up. Bottom up. Good. Maintaining that focus. Feeling your breath. So close. We have one change from here, yeah? Forward chest expansion. Okay, arms up, down, palms face each other. You're working as hard as you need to here. Find more tension on the band if that's what you need right now. Okay, you have five. Arms are shaking, fingers are sealed, collarbone is open, four. Give me all you got, three. Two, woo, one. Oh my gosh, guys, who felt their shoulders? Oh my gosh, I can't even raise my hand to say I did. Let's go right into a shoulder stretch. Bring that right arm across the chest, drop the right shoulder down, reach through those right fingertips. Good, switch it up. Left arm across the chest, pull it in, drop the shoulder. I'm so proud of you. Full body. We worked it all. Good. Release. Okay. I think we, it's time to do a little leg stretch. So butterfly is a favorite. I'm going to take the soles of your feet together. Pull those heels in nice and close. Grab onto the feet. Lift your heart up. I like to push my knees gently out into my inner or not my knees, I like to push my elbows out into my inner knees, just gently widening that range of motion. Good, release. Let's stretch the right leg open to the right. Left hip's not going to leave the mat. Flex that right foot, turn your core to the right, grab your leg. I'm going to fold it in. Be careful of folding, folding over onto this leg. Keep weight on the other hip as well. Feels so good in the low back. Good, roll it up, right hand, right leg. Slide into that much needed side bend. How does that feel on that latch? Woo! Good, reach those left fingertips and that left knee apart. And roll up. Bring the right leg in. Extend the left leg long. Hips squared forward. Flex the toes and knee. Twist through your core. Good right hip still has weight. Fold into it. All right, roll it up. Let's take that side bend. Left hand, left leg. Reach straight up. Find a lot of length through that right side. When you side bend, I still want you to think of finding length rather than like a side crunch, yeah? Push down through the right knee, reach through the right fingertips, open up that right side. Good, roll it up. Let's finish with a hip stretch. So we're gonna go right knee, right ankle line up with each other. A modification is to get, take that left foot right in front of the right foot right in front of, I'm using too many right and left words. Or, if you're more open in your hips, which were pretty warm, so it might feel good, stack the knees. Okay? So whatever feels right today. If this is a big one, hands back behind you, hold it here, or we can lean into it. Whoa! Yes, I feel like this is going to be good for these hips. <sighs> Maybe come to those forearms. Reach your chest long as that left hip open up, opens up. And then take it up. Let's switch it out. Bring that right leg on top. You know you can also cross it in front. Good, hips open up, chest expands. Two intense, hands back behind you. Feet are flexed, we're gonna bring it forward. Melt into it, release, relax. 
decompress from all that hard work. Lengthen the torso. Give me two more breaths on this side. And on your next exhale, roll up, lock it in. I don't even know what to say. I am drenched. That was amazing. I feel so good. I hope you guys feel so good. I love working out with you. Thanks for joining me for our heavy, extra heavy band Pilates workout. It's always a good time. My name is Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates on Demand. I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel for tons of different workout videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lindsay Rosebush. It's down in the description below. I do tons of live workouts and uh, yeah, I'd love to see you on there. Have a good day, guys.